Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like uh, machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. In this video, I'm going to explain the steps to evaluate the models associated with uh, you know language generation that is models related to speech recognition image captioning text summarization etc so far we have seen how to build and train image caption model here we are going to see how to evaluate it using blue score okay so stay connected till the end to acquire this useful knowledge if you are new here then consider subscribing to uh, this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century so what is blue score and how do we use it for the evaluation of deep learning models involving text Blue score, which stands for Bilingual Evaluation uh, Under Study Score, basically summarizes how close a particular generated text is to the expected text. Blue score is majorly prevalent in machine uh, translation, but it can be used to evaluate other types of models, uh, you know, related to uh, image captioning, uh, text summarization, speech recognition, etc. So basically the problems where we have different uh, target variations of a source text sequence okay for example in case of machine translation if let's say we have a spanish sentence which we want to convert to english right now there could be um, multiple english translation uh, that are uh, you know equally uh, appropriate uh, translations for the spanish sentence Similarly, in case of uh, image captioning problem, we have, uh, you know, we can have uh, several captions for a single image. Uh, as we can, uh, we also saw in, you know, uh, uh, while training our model, we had, you know, five captions for each image, right? So the question is, how can we evaluate the associated models which have equally good answers? So in classification type of problems, we have only one answer. Uh, you know and we can just measure e accuracy there uh, consider a scenario when we have uh, multiple answers right then it would be very difficult to measure accuracy so we incorporate blue score in such cases so if I take an, a, take an example of uh, you know this particular image on the screen there can be multiple captions associated with it some of you might say that three people uh, are running on the road Someone might say that people running uh, in a marathon and others might say one woman and two men are running. All of these captions are appropriate to describe this picture. Blue score helps in measuring how good a particular machine a generated caption is by automate, uh, automatically uh, computing a score. If a machine generated caption is close to a reference or actual caption then the blue score will be high or close to 1. If there is a complete mismatch, then the score would be uh, close to zero. So in our image caption model, we will generate the captions programmatically for a given image and will compare that caption or description with the actual caption in order to uh, come up with the blue score, which will tell us how to, uh, you know, how close our um, predicted caption is to the actual caption. One way to measure how good a particular image caption is, is to look at each word in the predicted caption and see if it appears in the uh, you know, actual or reference caption. NLTK library uh, provides, uh, in fact has a function called a sentence blue, which can be used to evaluate a sentence in question uh, with one or more reference list of tokens. Uh, so let me open a Jupyter notebook here to show you an example. So consider we have uh, uh, actual or reference captions as three people are running on the road and uh, another caption is running on the road. Okay. And as you can see, I'm using this sentence uh, underscore blue function of NLTK library, NLTK dot translate uh, dot blue score library to uh, find out the blue score for a particular uh, candidate 
caption okay now let's say our model predicted uh, the output as uh, output caption is person is running on the road okay now when we ran the cell we got the score blue score of 0 0.62 point uh, 0.62 because the predicted sentence uh, person is running on the ro road matched one of the reference is exactly right so as you can see here so these are two references and this particular uh, sentence was compared against these two sentences okay and that's where we got the blue score of points 6.2 so uh, as I told you earlier when we ran the cell we got the score of 0.62 because the predicted sentence person is running on the road uh, matched one of the references I will be using the variation of blue score uh, called cumulative n-gram score to evaluate our image caption model so before we proceed further please understand that one gram refers to single word 2 gram uh, mean uh, we have a pair of words, 3 gram means we have a combination of 3 words and 4 gram means combination of 4 words. Right, so cumulative blue score is the one where we calculate individual uh, uh, n gram scores at all orders from 1 to n that is 1 to 4, okay, uh, weighting them by calculating the weighted geometric mean. So as you can see here on the screen, we have used the same uh, uh, reference uh, uh, and candidate sentences, okay, but with defined weights for 1 gram, 2 gram, 3 gram and 4 gram. And weights are defined here as you can see, right, uh, using this weights parameter. So the first position of weight parameter, which is this position, uh, depicts 1 gram second position depicts 2 gram third position depicts 3 gram and fourth position depicts 4 gram so the cumulative 1 gram weight so if we talk about this 1 gram the cumulative 1 gram weight uh, take 100 percent for 1 gram hence um, uh, hence uh, the value is 1 for this first position and 0 uh, for 2 3 and 4 gram okay and for cumulative 2 gram weights meaning this one 2 gram weights cumulative 2 gram weights here uh, the value will be 50 percent okay for both 1 gram and 2 gram and 0 for rest others for cumulative 3 gram uh, weights uh, the value will be 33 percent for 1 2 and 3 gram and 0 for 4 gram and lastly 4 gram weights will have uh, value as 25 percent for 1 2 3 and 4 grams all of the 1 through 3 4 grams so when i ran the cell you can see the blue score came out as these okay so this particular uh, kind of cumulative blue score we are going to use in our uh, image caption model to evaluate it so we will evaluate our image caption model by generating the descriptions for all the images in the test data set first and after that comparing those predictions with the actual descriptions we would be requiring a training data set to prepare the tokenizer as well as maximum length for description because these two parameters will be required down the line to evaluate our image caption model so let's go one by one let me open my jupyter notebook real quick so here's the jupyter notebook uh, uh, the first uh, up we have this function called word to id which is used to map a given word using its corresponding word id okay uh, this function takes an integer uh, value and tokenizer as an input argument and inside this function we are just checking if for a given word and the corresponding index we have a match or not okay if there is a match then return the actual word else none next function in the list is uh, called generate desk or description function which is required to generate the descriptions for a given image in a training or test data set uh, this function and uh, in fact as a matter of fact uh, if we want to generate description for new image as well okay so we can use this function so this function takes model tokenizer 
image or photo and maximum length as an argument and inside this function we initialize the start description uh, sorry start sequence here okay so after this we iterate over uh, you know entire uh, uh, length of the sequence or sentence using for loop here okay um, thereby uh, generating one word at a time by calling the model recursively by providing generated word as an input until end of the sequence is detected by a end sequence token or if the maximum description length is reached okay so i also uh, i in fact showed in the previous video how to generate word one how this model generates one word at a time by using a chart so you can very well refer those videos so in a nutshell uh, we can generate text based descriptions using this function if we provide trained or test model as well as uh, image features as an input so word for id function is being used inside this function here as you can see here uh, inside this function to map an integer prediction back to the text word the original text word next function in the list is our model evaluation function for uh, finding out the blue scores okay and this mod uh, this function takes a model uh, description text descriptions image images tokenizer maximum length of a description as an input argument and inside this function uh, we are initializing two list one for actual description okay as you can see here and uh, another one for uh, uh, predicted descriptions so in the next line um, we are utilizing for loop to first generate uh, if you can see here this for loop right to first generate predicted descriptions using a generate a description function here okay uh, and uh, storing the result in y hat variable the result of this particular operation is being stored in this variable called y hat okay so the actual descriptions are being stored in a variable called references here okay right then we are storing these individual descriptions into actual and predicted list by making use of these append method or operations okay lastly we are calculating the blue scores based on the uh, these lists to summarize how close these expected descriptions are with actual descriptions okay if you can see here these are two list here okay so we are calculating blue scores 1 2 3 and 4 cumulative and grams here so next you can see here that we are loading uh, the training data set here in this part of the first part of the code to prepare the tokenizer as well as determine the uh, so tokenizer is uh, being prepared here and as well as determining the maximum length of the sentence or sequence as uh, because these two parameters are required uh, you know um, or will be used in the second part of the code here okay uh, so in this part of the code we are loading the test data set first okay uh, to evaluate our model and uh, so here we are f uh, in fact uh, loading the descriptions and generating the image features okay then we are loading our saved model here as you can see okay yeah load model right so here we are loading our saved model and finally we are providing all these um, variables as an input argument to our evaluate model function here in order to calculate the blue scores you can very well see here that uh, we uh, you know have a scores for one gram two gram three gram and four gram and we can say, see that uh, these scores fit within close to the expected range of the model okay so folks this is it for this video to conclude we learned about blue scores for model evaluation as well as saw how to evaluate the image caption model here in the next and last part of this video we will predict the caption for a given uh, new or fresh image 
So let me ask you a question from today's video. Uh, what will be uh, the bigram or two gram for a given sentence? The weather is really nice today. Please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also ask your technical questions in the comment section. I will be glad to answer your questions. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.